Hi everybody, welcome to Dog Ref Engineering. I'm Jim. I'm, I'm Steve, hello. Hi there guys. Today we're in the workshop again. Steve's come to see us, he's come to stay again. And we're going to attempt to show you guys how to make perfectly square box section squares. I think that's right, is that's it? That's what we're doing. Without going down, the other workshop. workshop. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. So what first thing we've got to do today, Steve, is with your drawings you've brought, we want 45 degree mitres. What I'm going to use is good old trusty set square. If I put that onto there, so if I run that onto the edge of the blade, that should give me 45 degree angle back off yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do is set that up. Okay. No problem. Perfect. I'll get this set up. Um, basically, I'm trying to set it up. We're on a fairly heavy plate, um, and I've been using the welder for welding up body panels on a on a vehicle. So I want to take the wire up, and I'm struggling to get it to run freely today. So I'm just going to put a new reel of wire on. What, um, what size is the wire that's in? Point eight. At the moment, we've got point six of a millimeter. Yeah. I'm going to change it up to point eight. Um, and put some point eight in it. That makes that much of a difference. It'll it? make an incredible difference, yeah. So yeah, I'll give yeah. it a bit of a quick a bit of idea how inside a MIG welder. So my trusty servant here, trusty mate. Um bless him. I'll just get him out of the way. So on a MIG welder, how it works is you have the coil up feel of reel of wire fed down the uh gun. When you pull the trigger, operates solenoid, drive wheels feed, and it feeds the wire through. So all I'm going to do today is actually change that wire. So first of all, I'm going to take the tip off, which is a 0.6 tip. That means it's got 0.6 of a mil hole in it. And we'll put that away. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take the spring tension off. And you can see the wire sat in its groove. And with my pliers, I'm just going to cut the wire. But you've got to be careful when you cut the wire. I couldn't pull it back. So I'm pulling the wire out. Yeah, so that's the wire pulled out. Run the wire back onto the reel. Thing with these wire, got to keep it clean. Keep it clean, don't let it get damp. If you get rust on the wire, you'll get all sorts of feed problems. And then we just take the locking collar off. Spool spacer. And again, another thing to be very careful of, that wire is very sharp. Um, be careful you never get it close to your eye because it does bounce around, it's springy. That gets in your eye, you'd know about it. It wouldn't be very pleasant. Um, never personally witnessed it, but I have heard stories of welders losing eyes from getting the wire in. So that's our point six. Which reminds me of a joke, Jim. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Hang on, Steve. I've no idea. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Very good. So in here, the next reel of wire. Are they from, are they from Artec again, are they? From Artec, I get 90% of my welding supplies from them. They're, a, as I say, good company. Um, I don't... I like the service. I like the style. No messing. No messing around. You order it on the internet, you get it delivered. Um, and so far, never any problems with any of their products. So... more wrapping and i expect you can see already that wire is considerably bigger yeah it's a thicker wire it looks about 0.2 millimeter to me it is surprisingly steve that's incredible i'm yeah. i'm impressed by your 
x-ray vision there. Um, it's phenomenal. So there's my reel. But before we go any further, down in here, the actual feed wire feeds across these little rollers. And in that roller, which I'm going to take off now, is a little groove. I don't know if you can see the groove. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, one of them is 0.6 of a mil, and one's yeah. 0.8 of a mil. Yeah. I've pulled him off like that, so that's 0.6. I turn him around and put him back where he's supposed to be. And now I put the 0.8 groove in line with the torch and the drive wheel that sits back on top and puts the pressure on. So we'll just lock that up. Because if I tried putting 0.6 wire, a uh, 0.8 wire down a 0.6 roller, slip. it would slip and damage the edge of the wire and then catch in there. Vice versa, if we're trying to put 0.6 down a 0.8, it won't drive forward. So the next little dodgy bit that can be a bit of fun if you're not to keep your wits about anything is see which way your wires fed off the reel. This one's round that way, so the wire is going to come off from underneath. I want that wire to come off underneath the reel. Whatever you do is don't let go of the wire at this point. Because it will go springy, spring, 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 and it will go everywhere. So what I've tended to usually do with these, just feed the wire through, and you'll see, you should see it going down its little, down the wire hole there. Yeah. And I'm just going to just put that back on there, just put some tension on it and put my wheel back on there. So you can see the wire, Oops. the wire now feeds round underneath and feeds through. So put our spacer back on. Little compression spring. And put some tension on it. All right. So we've put tension on it. I've got tension on the right wire, so that's fed in its groove. Just double check it's in its groove. Down its groove. Put the tensioner back on. Find myself a point eight. It's going the end of my rod, my reel, torch, nip. It's going to call it. Nice new one. I always just keep mine in the bottom of my welder. Some people don't say don't put them in there, but I... So you know where they are, don't you? I know where they are. That's the only thing that this welder could actually do. It could do is just a little catch, a little pot, something just to keep them in. Some welders have them built in. So, if we have a look again, guys. Yep. Okay, I'm going to screw my nip in, nipple in. They're sacrificial, so after a while they'll, they'll get burnt. Especially Stephen's using the torch. <laughs> yeah. Um, and whilst we've got this off the shroud, the shroud allows the gas, which comes out through here, yeah. allows the gas to be aimed around the welding yeah. point. Perfect. And these just push on. Okay, so as you know, I need to plug it back in. Move your old wire away, because there's nothing worse than getting weld splatter over a good reel of wire. Now, when I pull the wire trigger, I'll turn the wire speed right up and we should see the wire driving down. Here it is, there we are. Point 0.8 wire, a little bit bigger. So bear with me a little minute, Ross, I'll just get it set up. Um, and normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. It's already making a better noise, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Change the wire. Okay. Put that in there. Come this way. Just set a little tack in there a minute, just to. If you're doing a lot of these, you'd you'd, um, you'd make a jig. You'd make a jig, wouldn't yeah. you? going to check that again okay so that ends on 
happy with that. I'm just going to tack that there. And now what we should have to do is let's check our measurements now. 264. Perfect. 292. Perfect. That's uh, 392, sorry. 392, yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's the first one. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So if we got some got some gaps to fill in, but yeah, that's nice. We can fill these gaps and we can work on these. Yeah. Okay, it's flush that way as well. Yeah, well done. So the next well next tacks, I'll probably just chuck them on at the moment actually. I'll just put a tack, tack, tack so we don't get any yeah, distortion. Any distortion yeah. Okay. Number one. And as Count Dracula would say, one. Ah, ah, ah. Spot on. A blind man and his deaf dog will be pleased to see that. That's what I call square. Yeah, they're square. Square is a squareness. Hind dog legs, or donkey's hind legs, ain't no in area. Right. So guys, sorry we didn't get capture everything, but uh, batteries were a bit uh, flat due to the ambient temperature. All we can say is well, I'm glad I'm not a non-forest primate. Um, otherwise I'll be losing a two thing or two. Um, anyway guys, if you like it, remember, press the subscribe button, take it steady, hold straight. <laughs>